what's up everyone today I'll be showing you how to create your own minecraft server using a free hosting website called Atronos. this website allows you to run your own online minecraft server of any version for free you can run vanilla or modern minecraft whichever one you want you can install plugins to whichever you choose you do not need a matchy for your friends to join either let's get right to it okay so the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description which will bring you to atronos.org from here you want to scroll to desk select the down arrow and select sign up from here you want to enter in your email a username of your choice a password and then retype your password once that's done you want to select sign up you'll be sent an activation email to your email so use your real one um, activate your account and then log in okay so once you're logged in you'll get a little notification right here that's saying hello username you have now logged in once that's gone away you want to go to the down arrow again and select my server okay so um, we're gonna go straight down to options first and we'll come back to information now in a minute okay so slots now say you want to go onto the server with your mate so there's two of yous you set it to two players then select select start now say you set it to ten players and there's only two of you playing the server will uh, close down after a few minutes and you may receive a strike on the website which could lead to your world being deleted so when you wanna play um, only set it to the amount of people playing so let's say you're playing with three people you set it to three people you want another friend to join you stop the server set it to four people start again it's not that hard to understand but you get used to it so I'm gonna set it to one for now <coughs> whitelist now whitelist is just basically who you want on the server uh, you don't have to do this unless if you send out your IP and only want certain people joining you can whitelist them by what you want to select yes and enter their minecraft name right down here I'm gonna set that off okay so online mode premium or cracked just leave it at premium your um, mess message of the day just set it to whatever you want game mode I have mine survival you can set it to whatever you want difficulty mine's normal set it to whatever you want pvp command block and fly whatever you want okay so here you have the option to send a command to your server you can open the console whatever you like if you're into any of that go ahead and do it I'm not very familiar with that stuff so I'm gonna leave it be so let's get down to the version I run my ver I run my server on vanilla 1.8 the new update to minecraft now if you wanna run it on feed the beast it's right down here so you wanna select the one you want and click install Um, I'm not gonna do that because I'm leaving mine on 1.8 you wanna run a plugin you select your plugin click install um, that's basically all you have to do. You want to run a lower version of vanilla, you select your version, click install. I'm going to leave mine on 1.8. Okay, and down the end here we have whitelist and ops in the manage section. Now, if you have whitelist selected up the top here, you want to enter your friend's names that you want in your server down here. I don't have that set, so I'm going to leave that blank. You enter your so you want you want to enter your server operators in here. So you best off putting your Minecraft name in there and whoever else you want operating your server. Um, so you can send commands in game okay so once you have everything here the way you like it and all set up if you want to install some plugins um, it's not necessary it's completely your choice if you know what you're doing it's fine if you don't just skip this step but if you want to install some plugins you want to go back up to the top select the down arrow and select files and plugins from here you want to select install plugins as you can see there's a huge list of plugins you can install you can use the search bar to search for what you like and um, so select whatever one you want for example here's blood particles and um, as you can see here it runs on 1.7.4 so you have to find one that runs for your version as you can see there is no blood particles that run for my version 1.7.8 so I'm not going to download this but if you do want to download one that runs on your version just select the little download button here and install it to your server okay so once you have whatever plugins you want installed head back to my server which is right under your name and go straight to the information tab okay so from here you can uh, download worlds online if you want to uh, install a world that you download online you want to select new and choose file and upload that world so that will generate the world you want but if you want to start from scratch like I did um, you just want to head straight away and click start as you can see an attempt is being made to start your server and your server will take around 20 seconds to 20 to 30 seconds to start up 
as you can see starting your server has been started okay so as you can see here here's the IP there's my version 1.8 as I have set down here and um, here's the dynamic IP which you will send to the friend you want joining here's my player section now as you can see will be stopped in 11 minutes now the reason this is saying this is because I am not on the server yet so when I log in the timer will go but if I log out and forget to stop my server the time will keep running until the server stops and as you can see the status is online so let's head straight onto minecraft okay so I've started off minecraft here so I'm gonna go back and co uh, copy my dynamic IP I want to go back onto Minecraft and direct connect to this. Uh, you want to copy and paste your server into here. So Control V. As as you can see, here's my dynamic IP. Logging in, and here is my world, my uh, free online world. I've been playing for a while with some friends. As you can see, here's my iron farm and stuff like that. Now, if I head back, uh, if I pause this and head back onto the server, as you can see, the timer has stopped because I am on the server. If I log off and forget to stop the server, the timer will come back and eventually shut the server down if you don't stop it first. <coughs> okay, so there's one slight downside to this. Um, as you can see here, the dynamic IP, the one that you send to your friends, it does change. Every time you start and stop the server, the, ser the IP does change. Um, so that's the only downside I see to this. And another downside is that it's not always online and you have to have the amount of players you want playing to have the server online but all in all it's a great um, it's a great website and I really recommend it if you wish to download your server to back it up you just want to select the download button here after you stop the server you want to create a backup it's right there you want to reinstall all your components here reinstall it's all pretty simple once you get used to it <coughs> so thanks for watching everyone please be sure to um, like the video uh, throw a few comments if you get confused on some of the instructions and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure you take a look at my Twitch and Twitter pages also.